Hello everyone and welcome to a bit of an impromptu tutorial brought to you by a discussion on Discord. Yes, that's right. So people still aren't sure what one turns APN and target prediction guidance, um, aka TPG, what all of that does. And honestly, I wasn't entirely sure myself until I tested it. So here we are. As usual, you have timestamps and chapter, chapters, yes, chapters available for easy navigation. First, I'm gonna get one turns out of the way. So it's largely a waste on remote guided missiles, missiles that are mounted on turrets and on radar seekers. Now for remote guidance, that's pretty obvious because, well, the remote guidance is gonna be doing all of the work. For missiles mounted on turrets, well, shouldn't be required Radar seekers, there's a bit of a caveat on that because technically radar seekers can see pretty much 360 degrees, but they do attribute priority to whatever is in front of them. And so if you put a delay on the guidance, the guidance activation, and you use a one turn, you can get them to lock onto targets that are actually smaller than something else on the battlefield. So that can be useful. Now, one turns are not magic, and here's a bit of a demonstration of that. Here we have a missile with both fins and a one turn, and no guidance. And you'll see if I try to fire it at the horizon, it'll turn, it'll go there. Perfectly fine, that's expected behavior, right? Now some people think that one turns can actually turn a missile without any fin and here we have the exact same missile except without fins and let's see nope nothing happens it's just gone into the sun and finally we have a missile without a one turn and without guidance but with fins and nothing it's also gone into the sun so that clears that up Now, APN and TPG are less obvious. You can put both on a missile and it's not gonna cause any problems, but only the one closest to the front of the missile will actually do anything. I'm not gonna make a demonstration, but it's pretty obvious when you fire different combinations of APN, TPG, or nothing uh, on different missiles at the same time, you will see the flight path and you can pretty easily tell the difference. Now. What does TPG do exactly? Well, basically it aims your missile where the target is going to be. It's really good against targets that move in more or less of a straight line at any speed. It can be really slow, it can be really fast. It doesn't matter. As long as the missile is fast enough to catch the target, it's fine. But it is garbage against things that bounce around, like flying squirrels. And you can see this, this is Pretty similar to what I use for anti-air on some of my vehicles and I changed I usually use APN I changed that for target prediction guidance and it should uh, have a hard time hitting uh, a flying squirrel it should be able to do it but it might struggle uh, oh I should probably make myself invincible let's just aim and fire and there's a good chance it'll miss. And as you can see, it's trying to aim where the flying squirrel is gonna be, but the flying squirrel is always changing uh, its direction. And so the missile is basically flailing around just trying to uh, match that. And it's not able to because the flying squirrel is not really committing to any change of direction. It's just constantly bobbing and weaving. And so as you can see, it's going around it's really struggling so tpg is really bad against that type of target now let's see what happens if i change this with apn now apn is a bit different the higher the gain the more it behaves like tpg but it still tries to aim at a point that is between the target itself and where the target is going to be so it's a bit like a compromise between TPG and, well, nothing. And personally, I recommend lower gains 
uh, against things like flying squirrels. So here I'm going to shoot this and it might miss, but there's a good chance it will hit as well. This is just because the missile is not necessarily... Well, there we go. <laughs> Big blog explosion. Blog? Block. Block confetti. Yay. But that's basically it. So if you use a relatively low gain, it's usually pretty good against targets like Flying Scroll. Now, your missile will always require the right mix of speed and agility, but you can make missiles that are basically able to hit anything uh, with APN if it's fast enough and if it's agile enough. And this is one ex such example. Of course, it's a remote guided missile. You also need good detection, but you can do it with a radar seeker as well. As long as the target does not have decoys, you're fine. And that's about it. That's all there is to APN, TPG, and one turns. So please like and subscribe if you found the video helpful. Leave a comment if you have questions or if you would like to suggest topics for future tutorials. And thank you for watching. Bye bye.